Hi guys, I'm Jenna. I'm one of the reptile keepers here at the Cincinnati Zoo. And uh, we're here with a really incredible snake species, uh, an Aruba Island rattlesnake. This is actually our female. Uh, she's an 11 year old animal. She came to us about five years ago. And you may notice she looks a little rotund. Uh, that would be because she's gravid. So we had a male come to our zoo based on a species survival plan recommendation. Uh, he came last year in the hopes of getting us to breed these, these two animals. It is a critically endangered species, and they're known as a green SSP. So we're doing a lot of work to try to preserve this species. Uh, they're from Aruba. So as many of you, many of you may know, um, island species do face a lot of threats just being um, in a small area where they can thrive. This particular population occurs about 40% of the island, and it's the efforts are increasing to help these guys, considering Aruba is a really high um, touristy, touristy place, plus being a venomous species. A lot of people may have some you know, preconceived notions about these animals, but you can tell they're really beautiful. Uh, they inhabit the more dry, rocky hillsides of Aruba. And so we have our female probably due in about a few weeks. Um, we introduced our male to her back in October on exhibit. Some of you may have seen some interesting breeding behavior. The male was very interested in her, uh, took her some time to warm up to him. We did see an actual lock, uh, which means that he was successful in breeding with her. Uh, one interesting thing about snakes is that when they lock, it can be for multiple hours. So in this instant, instance, um, they were actually locked for over four hours. So we were hoping that that was enough to, uh, to make things happen and, and looks like it did. So we ended up talking with our head vet, Dr. Mike, and we scheduled an ultrasound for, um, for her here. And when we were expecting kind of small follicles just to make sure that she was ready to you know, have babies, we actually found some developing eggs, which was really exciting. We weren't expecting that. We actually uh, went back for an, a follow-up ultrasound a couple weeks ago to where we actually saw a little bit of snake movement in, the, in her, um, as well as visual heartbeats on the ultrasound, which is really exciting. Now these snakes give birth um, to live young, so she is gravid, but they do have egg sacs that they, um, that they are in while inside her. They, the snakes then kind of shed the egg and they come out live birth. So when they're out, they're out and they're ready to go. Um, we have known some reports of little rattlesnakes hanging around mom uh, for a few weeks until their first shed or so. So we're gonna keep the babies together with her, um, at least for her sh their first sheds or two, uh, just to see how they're doing. But this is an incredibly important species being critically endangered as they are. And we're really excited to take part in the SSP for this program. It's a, a historical species that we worked with here at the zoo in the early 2000s. So we're really excited to get back to helping this species out. And not to mention it is the longest functioning SSP uh, program for snakes uh, in the AZA right now. I believe it started in 1982. So uh, we're trying our best to, to do our best for these guys.